Hey starlings, happy almost new moon in Gemini. So the moon has gone into Gemini, it's at two degrees and it's going to meet up with the sun Sunday early hours in New York. Here in Australia it's going to be Monday. So the thing I want to point out, look at the chart I just posted, is Neptune in the final degrees of Pisces. So that's at 27 Pisces. And so that Neptune is going to square the new moon, sun and moon conjunction Junction, which is going to be at 26 degrees I'm pretty sure so you can see it's Neptune is almost on the ascendant if you place the ascendant at zero Aries and what that means is it's nearly ready to start a whole new cycle so we are in the final final blows it goes into Aries next year so we've still got a while it just travels so slowly so yeah crystals unicorns bye bye So Australia, new moon, actually Sunday afternoon around 2, 2.30. LA are around 3 something a.m. I think New York is 12 something a.m. So I'll put all that up closer to the time with a countdown if you want to come back here and check my stories. Uh, so the new moon in Gemini, I have written something for Lunae Sparkling. So that will be up tomorrow, I'm assuming or later tonight and new moon in Gemini so new moon is always beginning a new lunar cycle I say set your intentions with the new moon and um, make it around Gemini themes wherever 26 degrees Gemini is in your birth chart is what you want to be aiming for so that area of life represented by that house of your birth chart if that makes sense so this falls into my second house of money and resources values etc so that's what I'll be setting my intentions around with Gemini themes so as an example Gem so Gemini is a mutable sign which means it's a sign of adaptability but it also means many or more than one because it's ruled by the twins as we know so we think of duality so in whatever house that is for you it could be more than one in my second house that usually means because Gemini rules the cusp rules that house it means a du dual income at the very least I usually have more than one source and of course being pretty much a sole trader and um, a little bit of a gun for hire in some ways I've got multiple things going on all with astrology so that's less dual however <laughs> where that is for you Gemini theme so that could be around writing actually graphic designs ruled by Gemini many themes in the seventh house of partnership of course that could be two besties <laughs> a second love interest many things so set your attentions around writing knowledge you get the picture right so uh, I'm not going to give the game away <laughs> I'm losing the light I'm not going to give the game away so if you've read my book or do read my book cosmic power ignite your light a simple guide to sun signs for the modern mystic you can deep dive the gemini themes and understand the underpinnings of this sign so you can better use it for the lunar cycle happy birthday to gemini's we're nearly at the end of your season uh, the other thing is Astro Power, of course. My latest book has more on the lunar cycle itself and a deeper dive into the moon. Cosmic Power, however, has a sneaky second layer, which is the moon through each sign, each planet through each sign as well. That's for people that understand, which I think is most people that follow me here. Let me know where you're at with astrology. Are you a super beginner or a bit more on the intermediate? Do you understand how to read a chart?